Well, yeah, Will York did make that trip out to Kansas City for all of the action. He joins us again live. All right, Will, we know Browns fans are well traveled. Yeah, Lena, I'm here to talk moral victories. They are well traveled. There was a lot of brown and orange, not necessarily right in the beginning because nobody knew what time the gates were going to open and let them in. And everyone we talked to the night before said we're going at 11. I kept saying 11's really late. Well, they knew that the gates weren't going to open until 11, so they knew much more than I did. But there were a lot of brown and orange scattered about tailgating, and they were very optimistic headed into the game. And strangely enough, as weird as it sounds, they may have been more optimistic after the game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The dogs are in the house. From Ohio? From Shaker Heights, Ohio. Elyria. Columbus. Parma and Tremont. Akron, Ohio. And beyond. Live in Northwest Indiana. Kentucky. Omaha, Nebraska. Browns fans invaded Kansas City to first wait for parking lots to open. You have to drive in and wait in line just to get into the parking lot to set up all your tailgate. Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. You know, when do we start here? Then tailgate. Smoking a pork butt, and then we got burgers, dogs, a little bit of everything. So we've got bratwurst, a pierogi, corned beef. All leading up to what they hope. It is our time to shine. Is the beginning of one of the best brown seasons in recent history. Here we go, brownies! Here we go! Put a prop bet in early 100 to win 1600 for us, so let's do it. I've been a season ticket holder for eight years. I've been waiting for this. But we finally got a good team. We finally got a good structure. Got a good quarterback. Got a good feel. A game that looked so promising for a while, but ultimately ended with a dagger to the hearts of the dog pack. I ain't gonna lie, like this one hurt. I wanted this one. Fumbles what started it all, yep. and then right after that, the uh, the home home field advantage really. But still, hope remains. Mistakes happen, but I saw Browns team grow up from last year. Oh, this is a different Browns team. I think it's gonna be a great year for them. And fans are replacing the old adage: "There's always next year." No, it's this year. No, it's, it's this, this year, year now. With this is still our year. We got 16 games left. Like we good. On to the next week. On to the next week. The Brownies. Got we got the fumble, the drive, the shot. Hey, but we saying dogs got to eat this year. Dogs got to eat. It's not always next year. It's next week. <laughs> so, yeah, a tough pill to swallow right out of the gate. But as you see, a lot of the fans actually were pretty optimistic after this, saying that, you know what, Kansas City typically start, uh, starts hot. Cleveland usually starts slow, and we're playing in Arrowhead. And all of them said it's going to be a much different story when we see them again in the playoffs. Now, that optimism also rang true, not just in Kansas City, but in Cleveland as well, where fans were packed in to watch this opener. Lydia Spara has that story. The noise was deafening. Not from the stadium, but from here. West 6th and Lakeside. It's the first game of the season. The yeah. best team in the league. And anticipation is at an all time. Hey, we got OBJ back. Five. People forgot about OBJ. Hi. Go Brownies, baby, let's go! Here in the historic warehouse district, fans believe in the new Browns. We have better speed, better talent. That's the biggest difference, the talent. And believe they'll go all the way. We've been in the gutter. It's only up from here. Let's be real. Can the Browns really win every game? I think we'll win 13, 13 and 4. If that happens, it's the playoffs, baby. Lydia Spara, 3 News. I know you don't like it, Lena, but it's a moral victory. I hate to say it. It feels like, you know, a swear word at this point in time. But to open the season, I think, against, sure. as Nick put it, the Cadillac or Jimmy put yeah. it, the Cadillac of NFL teams and coming away that close, it's a moral mm -hmm. victory. Yeah, I would say so for sure. Yeah, we wanted to win. But, yeah, I mean, it, it was close. The Browns did play well. And it is a completely different team for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I think they proved they could hang with the big teams and maybe that they are one of the big teams. We'll find out a lot more as the season goes on.